All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another Real Talk video. I pray everybody's having a wonderful, blessed day as we give the most high all the honor, the glory, and all the praise. This is um, a Real Talk video. A uh, video responds back to you, Tyreek. Um, looking at your email, brother, uh, you see my title What an Older Woman Can End Up Doing to a Younger Man. Uh, and I mean this video out of love um, and to the ladies, no disrespect. To the fellas, no disrespect. Um, as a child of the king, I always keep it real. It don't matter who get mad. It don't matter to me who get mad at the truth. Um, and I'm going to speak from experience um, because some of us as men have been with an older woman when we was younger, when we was in our 20s, you know, 25, dating her. 40 year old or uh, being 26 or 27 dating a 45 some even 50 uh, when I was 25 I was dating 35 um, when I was when I was 20 yeah I was 25 um, I've been with more than one older woman um, and a lot of women can't stand when the older woman preys on the younger man and then some women don't have no problem with it at all. But biblically speaking, as the Bible shows us, um, when you're not wise, when you don't have the Holy Spirit, especially when you're young, let's just say it like this. When you're in your 20s, all of us can pretty much say in our 20s, we just pretty much blowed a lot of our life in our 20s. Because when you're in your 20s, you're young, you, you're having fun, you're doing foolish stuff. And... A woman who have been there, who's older, who have been through a younger man and an older man, nine times out of ten, that type of woman preys on the younger man to get him. Just like the Bible says, she stays out on the street corners. She looks for type of um, men like that because she knows they they not wise and they can control them. I'm not talking about all women. And then you see men older men who's old enough to be some of these women grandpa we call them down here sugar daddies if they're older woman we call them sugar mamas and then a lot of times in a situation like that that woman that is doing that not saying all but um you got to look at it like this her kids are the same age as you so in her mind she gonna look at you like a kid in so many ways even when you are you know mature for your age but a woman like that nine times out of ten have grown up without her father, you know, looking for a father figure slash boyfriend. And it never truly works. See, she done been where you haven't been. She have went through a lot of stuff that you haven't went through because you still young and you you know, what they call your prime, you know, you, you just experiencing life. When a woman get a man that's the same age as her, 21 year old 22 year old you have to ask yourself what do you really expect to gain out of that I have ministered to so many young men that goes through this um, and here go, here go the number one problem I see a lot of these women will take advantage of that younger man and they will get all they can out of them use them up and then kick them to the curb Let's flip that. Same thing with a lot of these sugar daddies. They will get the younger woman in her 20s, you know, get all the sex he can out of her. He pretty much paying her bills anyway, you know. And then when they get to being used up, they kick you to the curve. It's on both sides. Now, biblically speaking, as a child of the king, this is why we, we stay in the most highest divine order and I'm gonna tell you as a man of the of the uh a man of the most high you can't keep expecting I ain't even gonna say keep expecting you can't expect the most high to bless mess that's not a covenant so you can continue to go home and lay up you know continue to waste more and more years out of your life and you're gonna continue to be more and more pissed off you're not going to get no further. See, all well, the women who have been there knows exactly what to do. See, you 23, 
she's 53. She's in the stage of menopause, as you say. All hell really gonna break loose. When a woman go through menopause, I know because I done, I done been there with them. <laughs> when a woman go through menopause, it's some of the worst things you would even want to be around. I hate that for the women. But they got, they go through it. Um, some women deal with it a little bit different than others. But then some women just snap constantly all the time. It's bad enough you got your, your menstrual cycle. And then as you get older, but some women catch it early. You start having menopause and you're hot, you're sweating. I mean, your attitude, your emotions just going all crazy. And that's something that most men do not want to even be around when it happens. They want to leave. So an older woman will mess your mind up. Now, don't get me wrong, there's some younger people on male and female that's very mature for their age. But same same thing, I mean, same at the same time, you have to really ask yourself, what am I trying to gain out of this? If you are in your 20s, 23, 22, and she's past 50, what do you really expect to gain out of that when now you're saying she's treating you like a child? Well, you're in the back room playing video games with her grown sons. So every time an argument, it gets heated up. That's the first thing going to come out. And you ain't like a little kid. Well, what, you old enough to be his mama, you know. And anything that we, we do that goes outside of the most high's will, it never works. First of all, you're not married. You're still shacking. I mean, just keep it real. What do you expect to gain from that? You're not going to gain nothing but headaches, stressed out. You know, I, I, I'm, <laughs> you remind me of somebody I know right now that's going through the same uh, situation. Um, old folks used to say, you got your whole life ahead of you, you know. She got four kids. You have none. If y'all was to split up, see, this is what I be trying to tell young people. Stop moving in with these women like that. Stop. And a woman should be ashamed of herself, you know, letting you move in like that in front of the kids. You know, that's one thing I made a promise to the most high that I never did want to do again was shack up. You know, it's just, I didn't shack up with children in the house. I had, I was, I cut that out before then. But the thing is, I don't tell people to shack up, but if you are going to shack up, have your own house. They way when these fights and arguments break out, she can't put you out. All this. See, you got to look at this. You in her house. You driving her vehicle. You have, you can't, you can't even stand on your own ground right now. If she say, get out of my house, get out of my car, you don't have nothing at all. When you should have been getting yourself together, I told this guy the other day, man, if you did split up with her, you still in better shape. Because you don't have you to think about, you know. It's, it's sad, you know. It's just sad the way we our mindset of thinking is nowadays. I, I don't know what you expect to gain. You know, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Just being real. Uh, so, man, think about this, you know. Think about how much do you value your own self as a man. Get on your feet. Get your job. Um, stack you up some bread. Get your own vehicle. Get your own apartment. You know, get your own place to stay. You f you will feel better. Now you know how the wrong way feels, so try it the right way. You say she don't want to be married. She done already been married before. I said, let me say this again. Where you trying to go, she done already been there. And nine times out of ten, she's probably not going to marry again. And she, she sure is not going to marry you, you know. As she get older and older, things are going to get worse for you. You say she coming off just finding stuff to um, throw at you, to mess with you about. What do you expect, you know? See, one day you that man, but then the next day you that, you just like my child walking around the house. And that's another sad thing. All these grown men at the house with a mama. I, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. I can't relate to this stuff because 
I was working when I was 12, 13, 14, all the way up to now I'm going to continue to work. I left home at 18, never went back, not once. Don't even plan on going back. See, that's not even biblical when you start talking about never leaving home. That's why the Bible teaches you as a man, him that finds himself a wife, find it a good thing. And the Most High shows favor on that. And then he says, a man will leave his mother and father to cleave to his what? Wife. To go to show you your bigger and greater responsibility is not to be a mama's boy. Not to always keep following on mama. Not to have mama all up in your business all the time. Mama this, mama that. I know men whose marriage is destroyed because the mama is all up in this and they keep running the mama, putting mama above their wife. Yes, you love mama, you care for mama, your mama, but that's not your biggest responsibility no more. You grown, you move on. Now, that's a different thing if mama is sick and on her deathbed and you got to take care of her. Other than that, if ain't nothing wrong, you got to let mama go. And mamas, you need to stop treating your child like they still six, seven years old, ten years old. But that's the problem nowadays. We got too many men, young men being babied. And the biggest problem is because half of the houses don't have no father figure in there. So mama had to do everything on her own. It's all backwards. What's the most high's divine order? Husband, wife, mother, father. Raise up the child in the way they should go, like the scriptures say. How do you raise them up? The right way, being obedient in the word of the most high. If any other way you try to raise them up, they're gonna stray away. And they're gonna stray away anyway at times. But there's only one way to raise a child up the right way, and that's the way the Bible shows us. The B I B L E, the basic instructions before you leave Earth, before you take your, you know, before you before you end up in your grave, you know. So, I'm not gonna make this video too much longer, man. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day.